This is part three of the small CNC router intro. And today I'm going to be talking about the mechanics of the basic machine. Uh, I had several comments about uh, the first videos having very low light, so we got more light right now. And uh, basically, um, I'm going to be talking about y-axis here more than anything, and that's the axis that moves across the table here. Uh, we have uh, these Kelling CNC uh, pulse stepper motors attached through a Lovejoy L050 series uh, motor coupling and uh, these are available in uh, one quarter three eighths or one half or maybe even larger uh, bores this particular setup is using a one quarter to one quarter board coupling with a rubber spider between them between the jaws uh, this is a quarter inch roll thread, uh, 20 pitch, 20 threads per inch uh, screw available from WW Granger. And uh, the rails are three quarter inch, 10, 18 cold roll mild steel um, the nut is a piece of one inch high density polyethylene it's been threaded through with two mounting screws uh, it has no capability for backlash compensation but it's easily replaced when worn on this small machine, I, I thought this would be uh, just uh, fine for making parts for the larger machine. These bearings, these are uh, pillow block iron centered bearings uh, available from Triangle Manufacturing Company. They're available in uh, different sizes. Uh, these are three-quarter inch. Uh, they do make models with uh, grease cups or grease and oil cups uh, mounted on the uh, very end here where you see this little dimple right here. Uh, they, they make models that have uh, oil cups and uh, grease fittings too. The, the bearings are available from VXB bearings. Uh, these are quarter inch ID flange bearings, uh, meaning they can be, uh, once you cut the bore, they can be mounted uh, surface mount. And these are thrusting on both sides of the the upright here. This is uh, aluminum, uh, five eighths inch thick. Um, using uh, two and a half inch wide, and the length varies according to x or y axis. The actual length. Uh, on this motor coupling, on the larger machines, the the motor can be mounted flush with the plate, counterboard for this little step in the inset here, and then the coupling can be mounted inside the rails. Uh, on the smaller machines, you have the problem of the the amount of distance to the center line. Of course, the nut takes up uh, some space, so you've got 
not quite enough distance here to mount it to give uh, full travel the nut would actually impact with the coupling if mounted on the inside so uh, by mounting on the outside with these uh, spacers you can uh, actually get full travel on on the axis uh, now these uh, spacers are two piece they are split right here and uh, the these are 10 32 screws that actually uh, this part here is bored out to where the screw will pass through and then this part is threaded 1032 so this screw actually goes into this part and then this screw is screwed in from this side so this uh, makes it pretty rigid because it's almost the whole length of screw within it <clears throat> so it makes it pretty rigid and you add four of these so uh, it, it keeps the motor getting tight um, on um, this uh, motor mount this is a Bosch Colt one horsepower router and this hole for the mount needs to be 2 and 13 sixteenths ID to allow you to completely in, enclose this uh, bore of this router housing to where it, hold it snug um, the end plates for my z-axis are high density polyethylene uh, these back this back plate that's attached to Y to support Z axis plus these two thinner rails here are all made from half inch uh, cutting board that was purchased from Walmart uh, it's still high density polyethylene. It's approved by the federal uh, uh, agency for food acceptance, uh, direct contact with food, and so uh, it's made of the same material. It's high density polyethylene. Uh, have similar setup on X axis as Y, and that's why I chose Y for the uh, to give the details on uh, the rails on Z are 5 8 inch 10 18 and these are 5 8 ID pillow block bearings they're iron uh, centered as well so uh, the uprights are 80-20 material, the heavy, uh, this is 15 series, it's one and a half inches uh, this way and three inches long, the double, double width. Uh, good thing about the T-slots is you can mount like, like I did here with a cross slide and it makes it really easy to square this machine up. You can loosen these and raise one side or lower it to square the, the uh, y-axis travel with the x-axis bed. Uh, so uh, that's about it for right now. Um, the next uh, video will be on the electronics portion. Well, I will talk more about the motors the drivers, the interfacing, and the integration. Uh, this machine is right now sitting on my wife's piano stool. Uh, it's very compact. It's only 24 inches long. It's uh, 12 inches wide, actually a little wider uh, because the motor sticks out here these uh, it, it allows for a 12 inch wide travel on 
y axis. 12 by 12, 4 inch on Z. Okay, that's all for right now. So, uh, the next video, electronics. Thanks for watching.